if you are interested, I am giving away free Bibles. So what you can do is email me and we can set something up. May God bless you. For some reason, I have been having this strong need or urge to pray around 3 a.m. every morning. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. I believe it is best if I was to do it every morning. Anyways, today I was praying and some things were coming to my mind. Very interesting. So let me explain things in this manner. Let's go to Ephesians 2 and 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So God the Father hath raised us up together and made us sit together, made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. So if we are following the rules and regulations of the Bible, following God's rules, this is saying that we are sitting in heavenly places. So we are in more than one place at one time. So we are in at least while we are living on this earth, we are in at least two or more places at one time. Kevin, I don't believe what you are saying. You are crazy. Look. Look at the Bible here. And I like it, what it is saying in this other translation here, <clears throat> heavenly places slash realms. So this is saying that, hey, we are in heavenly places while we are living in this realm. So we are in this natural realm and we are in spiritual realms at the same time. Let's continue. Okay. <sighs> Hebrews 4 and 16. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. What is this saying here? This is saying that we have access to the throne of grace. So what does throne mean? Let's look it up. A ceremonial chair for a sovereign, bishop, or similar figure. Okay. So this is saying God's throne. Let's look up the word grace. In the Christian belief, the free and unmerited favor of God, as manifested in the salvation of sinners and the bestowal of blessings. So this is speaking about God's throne, which is in heaven, which coincides with Ephesians 2 and 6, where we are in heavenly places, more than one. So we are in more than one place 
in the spiritual realm. We have access to God's throne also. Kevin, what you are saying is crazy. I don't believe you. Look. Look at what the Bible is saying. If we did not have access to God's throne, why would it say to come boldly? <laughs> come boldly unto the throne of grace. So we have access. Okay, Kevin, how do we get to the throne of grace? Good question. Let's go back to Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6. Let's do it. So, it have to be in Christ Jesus, as you see in this blue here. Because the only way that we can sit in heavenly places is if we are in Christ Jesus. So, in order to get to the throne of grace, we have to be in Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus is the only way to God, to God's throne. Okay, so obedience to God and our faith. This is the way that we can get to the throne of grace, to God's throne. Obedience to God and having faith in God. Let's go to Hebrews 11 and 6. So chapter 11, verse 6. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Okay, so we can't please God without faith. How can we operate in God without faith? How can we excel in God without faith. We can't. So in order to get to the throne of grace, we have to be in Christ Jesus, obedient to the rules and regulations of the Bible, and we have to have faith. Some of you may not know what faith is. Faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. So when you say that you have faith in God, you have complete trust or confidence in him. So if your faith in God is dependent upon signs or whatever else, then your faith in him is conditional. So you really don't have complete trust in God. You have conditional faith, which is not complete trust. And this is the reason why you may be having trouble in your spiritual life now. Okay. So today when I was praying, Something came to me, Kevin, come to the throne of grace. And I was thinking, how? <laughs> and what came to my mind was Hebrews 4 and 16, then Ephesians chapter 2, verse 6, and Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6. So, while I was lying down, I laid, I lied down, 
And I said to myself, I am in God's throne now. So I believed that I am in God's throne now. Within seconds, I started crying. I started weeping. Like tears were getting on my hoodie. <laughs> and I was wondering why am I crying so much? Like I was crying so much. And I don't know the exact word, but something else was happening as well. The best way that I can describe it, I guess you can say I could feel the presence of God. If that makes any sense to you, for many, perhaps not, but I could feel it. Let me say this. Your faith should not be dependent upon what you feel or what you see. Stop trying to look for signs of God when it comes down to having faith in him. Because, hey, demons can show you signs too. I am telling you. <laughs> they can show you signs as well. So if you are the type that needs to see a sign all the time, that may get you into trouble. If you don't know the difference between the demonic and the things of God. This is why you need to read the Bible much more. So I was weeping and I was just crying so much. After <laughs> about two minutes of crying or three minutes, I forget, ah, about two minutes, I believe, I started to speak to God the Father. And you may say, how do you know that you were speaking to him? Okay, as I was showing you, we are sitting in heavenly places. So if we are in Christ Jesus, we can go to God's throne. So all I need is to be obedient and have faith. So I was speaking to God the Father. And I had the sense that I was being heard. And I believe that my prayers were honored as well. As a Christian, a real Christian, not this fakey, I can send all I want Christian, no a real obedient servant of God. You can come to the throne of grace as well. All you need is to be obedient and have faith. Let's go to Matthew chapter 9, 27 through 30. Let's do it. And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. 28. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to him, and Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. They said unto him, Yea, Lord. So two blind men came to Jesus Christ. They were asking him, Can you heal us? Jesus said unto them, or to them, 
do you believe that I can do it? And they said, yes, Lord. 29. Then touch he their eyes, saying, according to your faith, be it unto you. 30. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. So what this is saying, because of their faith, they became healed. Because of their faith in Jesus. Let me ask you this. Before this, did these blind men have any evidence that Jesus could heal them? So, there was nothing that, no evidence that they really had other than testimonies from other people that Jesus Christ could heal them. So, by Jesus healing other people, they received faith or started to trust in God, believing that, hey, if Jesus can do that for other people, he can do that for me. So what I am trying to say, they did not have any physical evidence that Jesus could heal them. Heal them. They trusted in Jesus, so they had faith in Jesus. This coincides with what I am saying. Their eyes never been healed before. So how did they know that Jesus can heal them? How? Faith. How do you get to the throne of grace? Faith. Faith and obedience. As a true servant of God, if you are obedient, you can come to God's throne. Since we are already in heavenly places already. Since we are in the spiritual realm already. Look, my Lord. All you need is to be obedient and have faith in God. You can come to God's throne. Why not? The promise is here. The promise is here. What attaches you to God's promises? Obedience and faith. So now you know how to get to God's throne. So if anything is happening to you that is bad, come to the throne of grace. Why not? The promise is out there. And while I was praying, I believe that may have been my first time, but I am going to do it more. Perhaps every time when I pray or most times. Why not? This is an open invitation. So let me stop here. God bless you. If this video have helped you in any way, make sure you share it and subscribe. God bless you.